All right, fellas, if you're having this problem, it's starting, but nothing happens. No turnover, no nothing. Turn the key, no luck at all. Might be your clutch safety switch, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix that. Now I'm gonna tell you two ways to fix it, the proper way, and number two, that I'm not, that's all I gotta say about it. Proper way is buying the clutch safety switch uh, from a part store that runs you about $100. I don't have $100 and I ain't finna go shake my ass for it for this clutch safety switch. The other way of splicing it, so what you'll do is you'll splice in the switch. You basically just jump it and bypass it. The problem is, is if you start it in gear, you might roll in and hit somebody's car. If you do that, you didn't see my video and I hold no legal responsibility for you paying for someone's car after you don't roll your shit box into theirs. So coming up under here, you're gonna see the clutch safety switch over here. This little thing right here that's already cut and spliced. If you're my insurance company, you don't see this, bro. This is my farm truck. This ain't even my real truck I drive on the road. So what you'll do is you'll cut the clip. And then here's the other part right here. You see that little green piece. And then, so you can splice it in with spade connectors into the plug itself, or you can do something like I did and just cut it and then splice the wires together on that end and tape it together. So here's what it looks like afterwards. You just splice it, then tie it together and plug it in. As you can see right here, the issue is this piece right here goes back and forth up on that rod and it's supposed to stay up on the firewall. Ain't shit I can do about it. I can't, I can't ask it no more not nicely. You can put shims in here to keep it on there or whatever you want to do. I don't know, bro. I ain't trying to mess with all that. I'm just trying to start my truck and go. My farm truck for my insurance, by the way. So I just want to reiterate, this is just one way to diagnose a no start on your truck. Uh, good luck diagnosing it uh, if you are right now, but that's one easy way to check before you go dump a bunch of money into trying to, you know, solve the issue. Thank you guys for watching.